Physicians Pharmacy is back in the news. We'll get you ready for high school football action. And AEP offered a safety presentation to students and first responders. You're watching Headline. When a person learns that they have cancer, it's overwhelming. Their life changes. I volunteer because of cancer in my own family. My brother had cancer, and I just want to give back what I saw done for members in my own family. SOMC Cancer Center has some advantages that I think you won't find other places. It's all here under one roof. The patients come in and out with smiles on their face. It's being done right here in our own little town of Portsmouth. The SOMC Cancer Center. Very good things are happening here. AEP Ohio gave two electrical safety presentations on Tuesday, mainly geared toward first responders, students, and construction workers. Lineman mechanics gave visual demonstrations during the presentation, which included AEP's overhead distribution system, how electricity travels to homes, safety tools used by linemen, testing lines, and causes of power outages. Here's AEP's Bruce Overly. So this helps first responders what, just kind of know what to do and what not to do around electrical. Probably more what not to do. What not to do if they're in a situation where there's an electrical Correct. pole down or a car in the, anything. And like I said, uh, yeah, if there's lines on a, uh, on a car, you know, what they can and can't do. Their equipment, uh, honestly, is just not tested for this. Uh -huh. Of course, you never know the, the abundance of different scenarios you might run into. And then we wanted to just briefly discuss the, the hybrid trucks that are coming available on the market with some of the, the bigger companies nowadays. That's, that yeah, opens up a brand new risk. Well, it, it's a diesel truck, but a lot of uh, the mechanics on it are run by battery exclusively. Uh, so you, it sounds like the truck's off, but it still has power. Okay. But uh, a typical automobile has a 12 volt battery. So at an accident scene, one of the first things I'll do is pop the hood, cut that battery cable, so there's no sparks to cause a fire. Uh huh. Well, that's 12 volts. These carry 500 volts. Okay. So the 500 volt vehicle that could kill someone. So they so, should not be <laughs> yeah. cutting those wires. And we just say, don't cut the orange cable. <laughs> In addition to emergency personnel, the topics presented also apply to others, such as highway workers or general construction workers. This one's called Physicians Pharmacy. We deal with the physicians. Physicians Pharmacy representatives are expected to argue their case in front of the Drug Enforcement Agency next week in hopes of obtaining a DEA registration that would allow them to handle and dispense controlled substances. The hearing will take place 9.30 a.m. Tuesday, October 4th at the Potter Stewart U.S. Courthouse in Cincinnati. The hearing could decide whether or not the pharmacy ever opens in Piketon. Mayor Billy Spencer says he believes the pharmacy will just be a dispensary for shady doctors and clinics. And he says that even if it opens, he will fight to close it. We're going to be watching this facility. Um, Great. Uh, we're going to do what we have to do to protect our town, uh, you know, so uh, whatever that entails. Your Wednesday sports section is chock full of high school goodness, including high school football previews for Friday night, as well as soccer, volleyball, and all kinds of sports. Taking a look now at your five-day weather forecast for Pike County and the surrounding area. Wednesday, Rain expected. It will be overcast much of the day, then more showers Thursday, but only to around noon. Friday and the weekend, you'll see temperatures start to drop considerably. Sunny skies, but highs only in the high 50s to lower 60s. Time now for a check of your obituary report. Linda M. Mays, age 48, of Piketon, passed away on Monday. Funeral services for Linda M. Mays are under the direction of the Howe Wheeler Boyer Hornback Funeral Home of Piketon. Ellen Grubal, age 73, of Wakefield, 
passed away Saturday. Funeral services for Ellen Grubal are under the direction of the Boyer Funeral Home of Waverly. And Emma Parks, age 87, of Piketon, passed away on Saturday. Funeral services for Emma Parks are under the direction of the Cox Funeral Home of Beaver. For more information on any of these obituaries, check out page 3 in your Wednesday Watchman, where you can always log on to newswatchman.com. Also in your Wednesday edition, we'll introduce you to the members of the Piketon Homecoming Court. The homecoming game is this Friday. We'll also tell you about the Bristol Village Fair, get you all ready for that. And we'll have a story about a countdown event for Operation Christmas Child. Now that's all we have for this time. But be sure to tune in again Friday for more headlines. Until next time, we'll see you. Have a great rest of the week, everyone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.